and there's been a bit of a casualty in the garden. <laughs> there has. It's been a bit windy for this washing line in Nottinghamshire. We've had some really strong winds across the UK so far today. Uh, yes, that was the scene there in East Leak, Leak in Nottinghamshire. It all comes courtesy of an area of low pressure. The swirl of cloud on the satellite picture. It's been bringing some pretty heavy downpours, but on the back edge of that low, yes, we've been pulling in those strong winds, cold winds too because they are coming down from the north. And I'm sure you'll have noticed that if you've been out and about already today. Plenty of showers, even some longer spells of rain and hill snow pushing southwards at the moment out of southern Scotland into northern England. Confirmation of those strong winds only slowly easing through the day. Still gusts across England and Wales of 40, 50 miles per hour or a touch more than that. So given the strength of the wind, particularly given the heavy showers as well, it feels chilly out there. 5 to 12 degrees. Now, there's snow showers in northern Scotland giving the risk of ice and for most of us there will be a frost to take us into tomorrow morning. I say most of us not as cold down towards the south because here we'll be feeling the effects of this area of low pressure. Now this has been named by the French weather service Storm Diego because it's going to bring some very wet and blustery weather to France. For us well we're really just on the edge of it. The Channel Islands will have a really soggy morning tomorrow. Some of that rain just grazing into the far southwest of England. Could be some snow over the highest ground of Dartmoor running along the south coast but for the majority tomorrow it is quite a bright start. It's a sunshine and showers day. Some of the showers heavy, possibly thundery, possibly wintry, especially over high ground in the north. Breezy, but not as windy as today, but still feeling fairly chilly. Highs between 7 and 12 degrees. Afternoon to you. It's been a lively night. It's been a very gusty morning and we've got a Met Office weather warning now right across London into parts of the southeast until 6 p.m. this evening for the strength of those wind gusts up to 50, possibly 55 miles an hour. And that's what we've seen in the last little while. Hello there, a very good evening to you. I hope you've had a lovely day and you're keeping well with the wild weather. We've had the wind. It wouldn't jump in, would it? Oh, of course it would. Absolutely crazy. I wouldn't be seen in there, not in this weather. Anyway, we've got the winds easing tonight and then tomorrow should brighten up as we go through the day. Still quite cool, maybe the odd shower uh, around. And then as we head into the weekend, things are looking quite nice and settled. As we head into the evening, no real change. The odd splash of rain here or there, but most of us dry. It's going to be a cold, frosty start on Saturday, but quite a decent day. Probably more cloud around on Sunday. Gradually the temperature's recovering. Look at Monday, maybe 19 degrees before possibly a few showers on Tuesday. We'll keep you posted. That's it. See you later on. Cheerio. Hi Sophie. Well it's been a dramatic day for cloud spotters. This was one of the big shower clouds that we've had across the country. A big cumulonimbus thundercloud passing on the horizon there in Lincolnshire. Very blustery today. Yes, very Alice. Uh, we had inland gales actually today. It's not something we get every day in April for sure. Uh, you can see some wind-blown waves there on the Thames in this weather watch picture but uh, largely clear skies and uh, temperature wise we should start to see temperatures rising by an odd degree or so. So in the centre of town, about 13 degrees, about 12 in the suburbs. The second half of the weekend is also looking pretty promising for us as well. We'll start off on a chilly note, but there should be a fair bit of sunshine. It will then tend to cloud over as this weather system starts to approach from the west. And that will ultimately be bringing a few spots of rain into next week. But essentially quite a bit of dry weather for us over the weekend, at least, Alice. At least there's that. Thanks, Q, Chris. Thanks. And I believe there's one word to describe today, Alex, windy. Oh, yes, you've hit the nail on the head there. It's been pretty breezy across most parts of the country. Actually, quite windy for this time in April. If we take a look at these pictures from Aintree a little bit earlier, we'll spare a thought for those that went to the races today. They certainly had to hold on to their hats. Some lost them altogether, as you can see here. Brolly's turning inside out as well. Uh, and that's because we had gusts in excess of around 55 miles an hour earlier this afternoon. So as I say, quite windy for this time of year. And that's why the Met Office had to issue a wind warning, although that was out towards the southeast. So everywhere it's been pretty windy today and also feeling pretty chilly as well. And we are going to have this cold air digging in as we head through the next 24 hours. You can see this on our air mass chart, but as we head towards the end of the weekend into next week, you can see what happens, that milder air starts to feed up from the near continent. So temperatures are expected to reach the mid to high teens. We may even touch 20 degrees Celsius at a push. So 
These could be fairly similar to what we had a couple of weeks ago, but I can't promise you bags and bags of sunshine, but it's looking like things are looking up. And of course, next week, it's still half term for most people. Well, yeah, exactly. And I'm staycationing next week. So I'd like to use a word that I know you're always quite hesitant to use, but can we talk heat wave? Oh, Charlene, you can't mention those words. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get me in trouble. I don't think we're looking at a, a heat wave, but it's certainly going to be a marked improvement as to what we've been experiencing at the moment. Obviously, tonight we could see a fairly uh, widespread chart frost, you know, so gardeners beware as well. So, yeah, I think things are looking good. It's good for a staycation because actually in Europe at the moment, it's quite chilly. So for those right. that are jetting off, they could be jetting into the cold. <laughs> <laughs> right. OK.